In modern air combat, speed isn't just an advantage, it's survival. Fighter jets like the F-35 and Su-57 must outrun missiles traveling at Mach 4+. During the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, drones proved that slower aircraft become easy targets. The U.S. Air Force reports that 89% of air-to-air -air kills occur when one jet holds a 15% plus speed advantage. This relentless pursuit of velocity defines 21st century dogfights, where milliseconds determine victory. NASA's X-43 scramjet holds the current record at Mach 9.6, faster than any operational fighter. Its secret? A revolutionary air-breathing engine that compresses air at 100,000 times atmospheric pressure. Unlike traditional turbines, scramjets have no moving parts, reaching 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. Lockheed Martin's SR-72 prototype uses this tech to cross continents in 90 minutes. Thermal management is critical. Ceramic composites shield the airframe from melting at these extreme speeds. In 2004, the X-43 proved hypersonic flight wasn't science fiction. Launched from a B-52 at 40,000 feet, its 11-second engine burn achieved Mach 9.6, 7,000 miles per hour over the Pacific. Sensors recorded skin temperatures reaching 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than volcanic lava. This test revealed a critical threshold. At Mach 10, air molecules ionize into plasma, creating radar-defying stealth effects. China's subsequent DFZF tests confirmed these findings, sparking a global arms race. By 2030, hypersonic jets will render traditional air defenses obsolete. DARPA's Mayhem program aims for Mach 12 strike vehicles that can hit any target in 90 minutes globally. AI pilots will be essential. Human bodies can't withstand 15G turns at these speeds. Satellite networks will guide missiles too fast for radar tracking. This shifts power to nations mastering scramjets, as seen in recent US-China-Russia prototype races. The future belongs to those who own the sky at hypersonic speed.